Ever since we discovered Star Wars and understood the Star Wars universe, one thing that has always been present throughout was the difference between good and evil, the dark side and the light, the Jedi and the Sith. Well, what if I told you that there was indeed a sect that believed that there was no light side or dark side of the Force? There was only one thing, the Force itself. The sect I'm referring to was called Potentium, and even though they believed that the Force was inherently good, they did not believe that the Force had a dark side. There was only the Force. As proof that the Force is only pure and nothing else, they would rely on a word used in ancient times known as Ashla. The word Ashla in ancient times meant the Force, and the modern Jedi then came to describe the word as the light side. Believers of Potentium said that the existence of the light side and the dark side resided in the user or the Force sensitive, not the Force itself, and they accused the Jedi of being afraid to explore the full potential of the Force. They also thought that the Jedi Masters refused to believe in the Potentium view because it would mean that the Jedi would not be needed to fight evil, because of the simple fact that evil would not exist. What's even more contradictory to the Jedi, Potentium believed that since there was no dark side, there were no dark side actions or force techniques, meaning that any action, good or evil, could be performed without risk as long as the intent was not evil. This led to some Jedi speculating that Potentium may have originated as a Sith scheme to pervert the Jedi teachings. A century before the Battle of Naboo, the followers of Potentium were officially expelled from the Jedi Order, labeling them as misguided, same as they did to the Grey Jedi. However, Yoda and the rest of the Jedi Council did not consider them as Dark Jedi. They simply believed that the duty of the Jedi was to use the Force to protect others and not study its absolute limits. Furthermore, the Council believed that the testing of the Force to its limits would ultimately lead to the dark side of the Force. Even so, Potentium followers still attempted to avoid the dark side. But unlike the Jedi, they saw the dark side as something within themselves to be avoided and not something in the Force. They reasoned that if the Force was the energy that flows through all life, the dark side simply came from the corruption of humanity. They felt that if they could be perfectly moral, they could be immune to the dark side and therefore use any technique they wanted, somewhat to the same view as the unifying force theory. It all started when Potentium was theorized around 132 years before the Battle of Yavin. At the time, Leor Hall was their leader and all the followers were expelled from the Order. However, not without Hall recruiting many students from the Jedi that were among the aristocratic families of Coruscant and Alderaan. Sakat, the intelligent essence of the planet Zonama Sakat, accepted Potentium after its awakening when it was colonized by some of the followers under their first magister, Lior Hall. The colonists felt Zanama Sakat was proof of the Potentium philosophy, and Sakat eventually came to consider itself the protector of the Force, although as some pointed out, this protectorship was self-appointed. Sakat even later confessed to young Anakin that indeed it was not the Potentium. Even Jedi Masters Qui-Gon Jinn and Mace Windu had a run-in with a group of Potentium apprentices at some point around 44 years before the Battle of Yavin. Now, many believe that Luke Skywalker's new Jedi Order practiced this belief after the Yuzhan Vong War, and it was actually closer to the philosophy of Grey Jedi, as stated by Grand Master Skywalker himself after the Battle of Yuzhan Tar. However, toward the end of the Swarm War, the new Jedi Order Order reverted to the more orthodox light side and dark side approach. Alright guys, that is it for today. Thank you so much for watching this video. And if you liked it, don't forget to leave a thumbs up down below and don't miss out on any of my future videos that I will post on this channel. Have a fun day and in closing, don't forget, may the force be with you always.